try fan. And we're live! It is a live herbal course taught by me, Jacqueline Steele, and Johan Harvey, who will be joining us in a moment. He is making sure that everybody can see the blackboard behind us so that you know what we're talking about today, which is identifying your target audience. And I am going to adjust this just slightly so that you can see everything. Very important. Hey, Aries, what's up, dude? We are live, and we have a friend joining us from across the pond in England. We have 12 people on already, Johan. Nice. Okay, nice. if you are here, say hello. Say where you're from. Oh, yes. Should I just keep moving? No, 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 no. Come back. Come back. You're gone. <laughs> Come back. All right, that's perfect right there. You oh, my gosh. are doing very so well. So tell us where you're from, um, why you joined today. We'd love to have you. Love to know what's up mm -hmm. as we chat about tips for identifying your target audience. Tips, tips, tips for identifying your target audience. Mm -hmm. Perfect. There we go. about there? We're about there. Just need to pull me. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hey, that is, I wish you guys could see what's happening right now. We're doing like a makeshift tripod on top of a poof from my... Uh, poof! <laughs> it's a poof. Yep. It's a poof. No, they really, they're called poofs. Yes, they are poofs. Well, that they means are a very poofs. different thing in I am joined by the one and the only Johan Harvey. And guess what, guys? Guess what day it is? It's his birthday! It's my birthday. So... Let's do a couple oh, shout outs if you can. It's his birthday, so we want to make it extra, extra <laughs> special. I'm a geezer. <laughs> oh no, Reese's battery is going to die soon. That's okay, right. dude. Well, you can catch it later. Okay, cool. Well, let's dive in. Yeah. What tips for identifying your target audience? I'll just be Vanna White today. <laughs> <laughs> tips for identifying target audience, letter A. Um, so, we want to break this down, I think, today into three steps. Um, by the way, this is probably one of the most overlooked things as step one in promoting and building and putting out any brand, any company, any product, any service, this should be step one. Um, and so the three steps we want to take uh, will be just a little journey from you to them, to your audience. So step one in identifying your target audience is targeting your, is identifying yourself. Um, and then we'll talk a little bit about the bridge between you and your audience, and then we'll talk a bit about step three, which is developing your audience as a buyer persona. So back to step one is identifying yourself. And I want to talk a little bit about positioning and about specialization. This is extremely important. So positioning, what that is, it's an articulation of what your, what your offering is a product or a service and to what market segments, and this is very important. Um, it, it's not everyone. It's not everything. It's not full service. What I'm talking about is differentiating yourself in the sea of competition of thousands of people that are probably doing something quite similar to what you're doing. Um, so no one is going out and looking for you because you're full service because you have excellent customer care, because you work closely with your clients. These are not differentiating factors. So what I mean by identifying yourself, specializing and positioning, is to take your, we talked about this a bit in the coffee break, but to take your flagship product or service, the, the problems that you're solving, the solutions that you're providing, and to specialize that, um, to, spe to, to specialize, to say, to hone in on that specifically, and if I can just okay. add really quickly, yeah. <laughs> it's so important to identify what value you are going to be providing for somebody. What problem are you solving? And when you have that specifically, and you hone in on that, what value you're providing, what solution you are providing, then you have identified who you need to be targeting. I think the most important thing about that honing process, and this is the scary part, is saying no to people that don't fit that specialization. Um, and by specializing, you're, you're, you're reaching a very specific audience. Take this for example, I know that we can both relate to this. Um, if I've got the flu, I don't, I don't go online and search for a full service doctor. But if I have a knee injury, I will fly halfway across the country for the best knee specialist that I can find. Um, and so 
just just the same for any product or any service that you're you're offering to your to, to your audience that you're trying to reach. Um, I, you don't go out and 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 sign up for something or spend money on something because it serves everyone. It's because it serves me. It's it 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 solves my problems. It faces my challenges. Absolutely. Yeah. So. And and yesterday in my revelation, I talked about how to grow a successful business. Mm -hmm. And the way that you start that is by doing one thing, just one thing, really, really, really well, because you will immediately differentiate yourself from the crowd if you are excellent at one thing. And then as you build your audience, as you build your business, as you increase your income, then you can add another thing and become really, really excellent at that. And then before you know it, you do have multiple services to offer. But don't put out multiple services to offer until you can do one in an outstanding way. Yeah, that, that's, that's, and the key to that, to doing it in an outstanding way, is to identify your why. Um, and that kind of leads into number two, which is the human factor. In fact, the bridge between you and your audience should be the human factor. And just in the same breath as number one, specializing and positioning yourself, there's no better way to specialize and, and, and position than to humanize. If you're reachable and you're touchable, Seth Godin said it best, people don't buy the what behind something, they buy the why behind it. Absolutely. So to, to humanize and be reachable, you're, you're going to reach your audience. And ideally, you are your target customer. You are your own buyer persona. Because who else is going to know these potential customers and clients better than you? You need to know them inside out. You need to know where they're hanging out, what kind of clothing they like, whether they like coffee or beer or wine, uh, whether they're into organic food or they don't really care that much, whether they like being indoors or outdoors more. All these little things that build up a life and build up what a human being is and what their likes and dislikes are. The more you know those things, the easier it is going to be for you to market your product or service. That is the magic of resonating with your audience, is to be, to be someone that they connect with because, hey, they're like me. They, I like people that are like me because I'm awesome. And, uh, well, you know, uh, just... He is. <laughs> that, that, that's, uh, that's, that's how you reach people, is by relating to them on a human level. Being human. I mean, us right now, we're having a conversation, we're sharing value, we're sharing our expertise, but we're also very much being ourselves because we want you to feel like we're approachable. We want you to feel like we're real. We're not up here in business suits doing some PowerPoint because that feels very staged. It feels very impersonal and it doesn't feel approachable like we can have a one-on-one -on -one conversation. Nobody connects with a brick wall. No matter what you're offering, whatever, if it's a gadget, if it's a restaurant that gives great food uh, uh, or a certain uh, a class of service, um, it, nobody will connect with a door. They'll connect with a human. They'll connect with somebody that says, hey, I understand your problems and your challenges because I have them too, and this is how I've solved them for myself. And I'm handing that, that, that to you, that awareness of that to you, if this fits the bill for you too. And there's no better way to truly specialize and to truly reach a target audience than, than humanizing. Then that human to be factor human. should be your bridge. And that's why so many businesses or so many brands uh, that have success on social media are the brands that are really putting themselves out there, showing the human factor behind all of the uh, polished and perfect branding. They show you that they're imperfect and sometimes they mess things up and they give you a peek behind the curtain and they show you what they're eating, etc. People want to know the human behind the product or the service. Right, which we don't need to get into it too much right now, but that is that is exactly why social media marketing is so successful and why Huge. it's projected to um, be a, 19, a $17 billion industry in two years. That, that, like, that's, that's a massive number. Billion. But it talks to the success of the humanizing factor and what social media marketing does and showing people behind the scenes, letting them be a part of your story. So that's that's how you reach your target audience, is by being your target audience and putting it out there for, to resonate with them. You'll find them, they'll find you, and they'll connect with you because of the human factor. Yes, so, human, um, human. So moving on to number three, so it was identify yourself, the human factor is your bridge. And then number three, the X, is, is uh, developing a buyer persona. 
and we've, we've already been foreshadowing this pretty well, but what a buyer persona is, is a fictional, a semi-fictional um, representation of your ideal audience member, one. Um, and, and keep it to one first, uh, and maybe a little bit more on that later, but create a character, give them a name, Call them Nancy, the CEO of a small business. Call them Steve, the sound engineer. Call them Bob, the chef of this Italian restaurant. Who, who, who are they? And so when you create this fictional character, and I know it might sound like a silly game, but it, it helps so much in, in, um, in developing the why behind what you do and who you're trying to reach. So where do they hang out? What kind of language do they speak? What kind of food do they eat? What kind of time schedule do they go by? What kind of communities and watering holes do they frequent? What kind of social media channels do they hang out on? What kind of stuff do they search? What kind of TV do they watch? What, and most importantly, I guess here, what are their pain points in their job, in their role, in their industry? What are their biggest challenges? What are the things that they're trying to overcome? And from there, when you created this, this very touchable, Thing called a buyer persona, that is how, when you can even start to attack what solutions you are providing to make their lives better, what value you are giving to them because it resonates with that character. So I can't really stress the importance more of creating a buyer persona for your flagship product or service because that is how you're going to reach them. That will drive your why. I think that was perfect. Yeah. <laughs> just so. want to give a shout out real quick to Paige Roberts. Thank you so much for sharing our live video. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, so th those that's really what we wanted to touch on, on tips for identifying your target audience. If you have any additional questions, let us know. Private message us. Email us at hello at harveyandsteel.co. We are happy to provide any information that we have, we want to be of value to you guys. So if you have other questions about business growth, about marketing, about website development, social media, et cetera, send them our way. We want to know. We want to help. We want to help. We genuinely want to help. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in. I'm going to go enjoy my birthday. <laughs> it's a birthday day. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool. Thank you guys so much for joining. We hope you have a wonderful day. Cheers to growth and here's to the grind. grind.